reason why I'm here by Yellow Ribbon is because I was caught smoking dacha. The school caught me with dacha, smoking dacha. First, I used to smoke like just once a day, but then it started getting worse. I started smoking every day. Like, the minute I'm sober, the minute it's the minute I smoke again. I couldn't help myself, see myself, always following my friends, chasing after them to do the wrong. Every day, millions of South Africans suffer from substance abuse disorders, and it eats away at their families, their resources, and results in a loss of opportunities, particularly among the youth. The Yellow Ribbon Foundation decided that this no longer needed to be the narrative of the young South African, that it is okay to have a place that you can go to, where you can call home, that you can call your family, and a place that will support you and prevent things such as drug abuse. So this, is our, this is our office block, basically. What we do here, we do all our documentation from here, our coaches sit here. Um, just a little bit about our organization. It started five years ago and I realized what I had gone through and the little support and help that was around at that time. When I found out my son was an addict, I removed him from school, sent him to a rehab and he didn't have an education, he missed out on education. So the most important thing for me is to try and keep our kids connected to education and to support the nine high schools in our community where we allow the teachers to educate and teach and we deal with the social ills that our schools are faced with. We do our work, we clean the garden, we study here. Uh, we do a lot of stuff here to keep us busy instead of smoking. And we eat a lot. <laughs> we have the, the vegetable garden, I'll take you to that now now. We we're trying to grow veggies and just have a sustainable program. We're not dependent on people to always give us handouts and we're growing stuff that we can. I think that Ms. DNM really helps us because she always motivates you when you're down. She always get the words that can get you back in focus. She lifts you up, she gives you spirit. Once education goes out the door, that's when you become a problem. That's when crime happens, that's when teenage pregnancy happens, all of that, so the biggest... What really inspired me about everything at this foundation was that it's a sense of community, it's a sense of heart. Nobody is left out regardless of what your problems or your issues are. If it's something simple like you just need stationery for school, the Yellow Ribbon Foundation will help. And for me, that's just a sense of community, that's a sense of heart, that's a sense of love. We, we are a non-funded organisation and I think the strength in what we have achieved is just everyone here is very passionate about what they do. Well, this is all about children. I mean, the children come here so that they can better their futures. So for me, the focus are the kids. You know, can we feed them? Can we get them and keep them into school? If it means by helping them in their kitchen with their supplies or with their equipment, we can help with that. Maybe even their food garden. Um, let's keep a few secrets. <laughs> We came and we saw what the Yellow Ribbon Foundation is all about with the Diskem Foundation. It's a place that gives a home to the homeless, it gives hope to the hopeless, and it gives a second shot at a wholesome life to many in its community. We wait in anticipation to see what the Diskem Foundation has in store for the Yellow Ribbon Foundation, and we can't wait.